Rose, she can't come up with enough. Absolute. Incredible performance. Shock and awe in college basketball. UNBC makes history in Charlotte. And welcome back, everyone. My name is Tyler Boronsky. You're watching my YouTube channel where I interview professional athletes and celebrities. Except we're going to do a little bit of a collegiate athlete today, which is pretty awesome. Fans, you don't really got to be that big of a college basketball fan to know sports history was made last Friday when the University of Maryland Baltimore County men's basketball team became the first number 16 seed to beat a number one seed in the NCAA tournament. And I'm here at Arkell Lamar uh, starting forward on that team. So Arkell, that's got to sound pretty good. Uh, and thanks for coming on. Yeah, no problem. It's an honor to be here. Yeah, for sure, brother. Uh, you know I got to ask you about that game. Yeah. Absolutely crazy. How do you blow out a team like Virginia? Was there anything that coach said prior or that you guys noticed about them that yeah, you knew you know, that would be the way to pick apart a team like Virginia? Yeah, well, all credit to Virginia. Obviously, they're the number one team in the country, the number one defensive team in the country. Uh, going into the game, coach pretty much said that they pack it in on defense, so we're going to have to shoot our shots when we get them on the perimeter. Mm -hmm. We're a very... We're a very good offensive team. Like that, that's what we're based. That's what we're known for. So, yeah. shoot. So we shoot a lot of threes. And coach said the way they pack it in, it should be easy to get our shots off. So we stuck to his game plan. It worked, and we packed it in as well on a defensive end. And they didn't shoot too well, so we pulled no. out the editor. No, they didn't. No, that's awesome, man. That's for sure. <laughs> and you personally made some news. I mean, after the game, as I saw, like Sports Center tweeted out a picture of you. You know. The one sticking out the tongue and the little tweet of from UMBC being like, uh, put some respect on your guys' name. So right. that kind of neat, you know, seeing that after the game, kind of going viral, you know. Yeah, it was, it was very, very, very exciting to see that because uh, I always see NBA players on Sports Center, and it was just like it was an honor to be a part of that. Yeah, for sure. And you know, after Friday's like emotional, historic game, I mean, you guys had to play two days later against another tough matchup against Kansas State. So. Was it difficult to kind of not be in the middle of that emotional hangover? Were you guys always like, hey, you know, got to move on to the next game, got to move on to the next game? Yeah, we pretty much said we have to move on to the next game the same night that the game was. Uh, obviously, Kansas State was a great team, too. We played very two high major teams, and we just we got gassed out there the second one. You know, playing NCAA tournament, I mean, the crowds, it's crazy. Any nerves playing crowds like that, or were you kind of like, I live for moments like that? Uh, to be honest, I played in front of a lot of big crowds before, so it was just like, it was normal, to be honest. Fantastic, man. And Arkel, uh, final question for you. I mean, we're both from the Connecticut area, around the Bridgeport area. Uh, was it kind of special knowing to have that support system, you know, from all the people back in Bridgeport and the fact that you're kind of representing Connecticut and Connecticut basketball in general, you know, playing in that tournament? It was really an honor. Uh, after the game, I got about 200 Snapchats, 300 Instagram uh, <laughs> plus followers, like 300 Instagram DMs. And Twitter was blown up. It was amazing to feel all the support from the uh, fan, from friends and family back home, because uh, not not too many people were from make it. So mm -hmm. when they see someone making it on a big stage and doing their thing, they, they show a lot of support, and I was very grateful for that. Absolutely, man. That's awesome, and. Uh... Arkel, last thing for you, I mean, if you wouldn't mind giving out some social media plugs for people to follow, where they can check you out, maybe on Instagram or Twitter. Uh, Instagram and Twitter, Arkel underscore Lamar. Uh, Snapchat, Arkel33. There you go, nice and simple, and that'll be on the screen for people to see as well. And uh, fans, you can follow this YouTube channel at tbls 512 same name on Facebook, and then on Twitter and Instagram at tybronski 10 Arkel, uh, thanks for taking the time, and uh, you know, best of luck to you next season as well. Thank you. Appreciate that. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes, absolutely. I like that little plug right there.